Hi there, welcome to my YouTube channel Dhani Glasses. If you are watching my video for the first time, do subscribe my channel, hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever new video will be uploaded. So in today's video, we will cover the poem A Photograph from Class 11 CBSC. So let's look at the line by line explanation in English. Let's talk about the author. Sherry Tolson was born on 20th May 1924 in England. She had a huge passion on writing and was greatly influenced by her father who was a writer too. She secured BA on Literature from Brockhunts College in London in the year 1953. Kathleen Shirley Tolson was an English writer, poet, journalist and local politician. Tolson attended Pryor's Field School and worked with the Auxiliary Territorial Service during the World War II. She married Norman Tulson, an army left in 1944, and they divorced in 1951. Shirley Tulson's poem, A Photograph, is a loving tribute to her mother. The poem reflects the passage of time and its three stages. Let's talk about the theme of the poem. The theme of the poem revolves around the loss, mortality, and separation. In the poem, Poet's mother grows up quickly and misses her youth, which is lost now. On the other hand, after the death of her mother, the poet misses her laugh and becomes sorrowful. According to the poet, humans are short-lived and transient. We change quickly, unlike the sea which is immortal. This transient and mortal nature of human lead to separation and loss. Poet's mother die and now she lives with the memories of her mother. She is unable to express her sorrow, hence she remains silent in the end. The cardboard shows me how it was when the two girl cousins went paddling, each one holding one of my mother's hands and see the big girl, some 12 years or so, all three stood still to smile through their hair. The cardboard shows me how it was. So here she is talking about cardboard. Cardboard refers to the photograph of her mother along with her cousins and she is becoming very emotional while seeing that photograph and when she looked at the photograph she became very emotional. When the girl cousins went paddling. So here she is talking about the photo that shows that there were two cousins along with her mother and they went through the water and navigating the way at the beach. Each one holding one of my mother's hand. So here what is talking about that they were paddling that means navigating water in the beach and uh, both the cousins holding mother's hand and feeling happy. So that is the picture and that was there in the photo and uh, the poet looking at the photo and becomes emotional and further she is saying and see the big girl some 12 years or so so here the poet is saying that the big girl that means she refers big girl as her mother in the photo and saying that her mother is the eldest girl and she is looking 12 years old girl so she is saying that her mother was about 12 years old when the photograph was taken. All three stood still to smile through their hair. So here the poet is saying that they did not move while the picture was clicked and they were smiling and their hair flying in the air and the weather might have been cool and windy because their hair is scattering on their face and all were very happy and they were looking very happy and smiling and still she could see them all smiling when the photograph was taken. At the uncle with the camera, a sweet face, my mother's that was before, I was born and the sea, which appears to have changed less, washed their terribly transient feet. At the uncle with the camera. So here the poet is saying that there was the uncle who was taking the photograph and he was standing there and was taking their photograph and at the same time the girls were smiling and their hair was flying all over their face and they were standing there and ready for the photograph. 
a sweet face my mother's that was before i was born so here she is talking about her mother and she was very beautiful and she had a very pretty face and when she was young when the photograph was taken and i was not born at that time so as you know that uh, her mother was about 12 years old when this photograph was taken and the sea which appears to have changed less so here she is talking about the sea that is there in the photograph and when they were in the beach she is also talking about the quality of the beach that it is not changed at all and there was no change in the sea and the sea remains the same and for the sea says washed their terribly transient feet so here she is talking about the sea water that sea water washed the feet of her mother and her two younger cousins the day the photograph had been taken so poet is trying to say that ocean has never changed and it remains same but life of human has been changing because it is not permanent and nothing stays for forever some 20 30 years later she would laugh at the snapshot see betty and dolly she would say and look how they dress us for the beach the sea holiday was her past mine is her laughter both ry with the labored ease of loss so in this line the poet is talking about the course of time after the photograph was taken in between 20 or 30 years later that means her mother might be 40 years old after 20 or 30 years later further she is saying she would laugh at the snapshot so here she is talking about her mother when she was near about 40 years old that means her mother would look at the snapshot and she was 40 years old woman and she would laugh at the photograph so her mother looking at the photograph along with two cousins and then she would smile and laugh at it and she would say see betty and dolly so here betty and dolly are the cousins who are along with the her mother in the photograph and after seeing the photograph she is smiling and feeling how she looks like when she was young girl and went to the beach with her cousins and further she says and look how they dressed us for the beach so here she is she was feeling happy and amused when she look at the photograph and thinking how they were dressed for the beach and how they were enjoying their day and especially she is pointing on the dress they wore for the day on which they took the photograph further she says the sea holiday was her past mine is her laughter so here the poet is trying to say that her mother used to consider the photograph as an inroad to the past that she had left behind so for her mother's laughter by looking at her photograph is her past and for the mother beach holiday is the past so further she says both ry with the labored ease of loss so here poet is trying to say that uh, both of them the poet and her mother were struggling with great difficulties and uh, they were struggling at that time on the other hand the poet herself consider the memory of her mother laughing as a relic of the past and she missed every day in both cases the memory of the past made the two women contemplating and uh, they feel disappointed as they tried ha- tried hard to come to terms with what they had lost now she's been dead nearly as many years as that girl lived and of this circumstance there is nothing to say at all it's silence silences so in the last thing the poet is saying now she has been dead nearly as many years as that girl lived so here she is saying that uh, her mother has been died and the poet referring she as her mother and she is saying that her mother had passed away as nearly as many years as that girl lived so how many years have passed after her mother's death as many as years as that girl lived so that girl is the girl in the photograph and she said that she was about 12 years old so now it has been 12 years after her mother death and of this circumstance so now she is feeling alone 
and uh, her mother has already passed away and she has all the pain and living without support and caring of her mother further she says there is nothing to say at all so here she is saying that i don't have to say anything because i am totally alone and i don't have mother and i lost my mother and uh, she says she says it silence silences so the poet is saying that she is alone and she has lost her mother and that situation is making her silent and it does not permit her to speak anything because she is at lost and pain because she is alone and she has lost her mother so i hope you like the video for more informative videos do subscribe my channel hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever new video will be uploaded so thank you so much for watching once again stay safe stay healthy